two days away from the first official day of summer, but unlike summer break for kids, many of us adults aren't getting a big vacation. So how do we reduce stress at work and home? Where does our stress and anxiety originate from? Joining us this morning to discuss are Linda McNutt Foster, CEO of Cortex Leadership Consulting, and Bud Pierce, performance coach and author of Stress for Success. Thanks both of you for joining us this morning. Well, Absolutely. Linda, we're supposed to be a little less stressed <laughs> because it's summer, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I think that these things, this weapons of mm. mass distraction yeah. um, from the time people wake up till the time people go to bed causes a great deal of stress stress and anxiety um, and I was happy to have Bud here with us to kind of talk about ways that we could reduce that you know exactly and that's what we want to ask you Bud, because you did stress for success so where does our stress come from our stress comes from chaos around what we live <laughs> in. everything around us is constantly changing and we encounter things that we're not used to during the day and our brain there's part of our brain called the limbic system and there's this part of the limbic system called the amygdala that constantly tries to protect us and it stores these interactions we have with our environment that cause us stress so we need to learn to stop our stress right in its tracks to keep it from growing and becoming a bigger problem. So what exactly can we do then to reduce our stress and kind of eliminate some of those triggers? Right. Well, there's three main things we can do on a constant basis. One is to get a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Another is exercising. And the third is really the easiest thing is learning to breathe. <laughs> Most people don't know how to breathe. And one of the greatest ways to breathe is learning to breathe through your diaphragm. Oh. Yeah. And you can do that by breathing through your nose. And I like to count it verbally five, through five, one, two, three, four, five, as I'm breathing in through my nose. Put your hand on your stomach and feel the breath come in through your stomach. Exhale through your mouth. And maybe, maybe mentally say the word relax as you're exhaling. How often should you do that then? I do it. I do it. I do it all day long. <laughs> you know, I think that's what it is. You know, I talk to a, a lot of CEOs and leaders and 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 people like us that run from meeting to meeting mm -hmm. to meeting, and sometimes you only have a few minutes. And it's amazing when you just, if you can get there 30 seconds early, mm -hmm. and sort of go through some type of breathing exercise how you can be present with what's happening right then you just have to find that quick way to shut your brain off you know you yes. mentioned that workout and just 15 20 I mean 10 minutes just of hard exercise or getting on a walk to shut everything out it makes a world of difference absolutely yes absolutely all right thanks both of you for being with us we do want to mention that you can check out Bud's course or you can find resources and articles discussing stress reduction on our website virginiafirst.com we're gonna link you to everything you need